Welcome to Electron Online and in order to show some examples of how uh, catalysts work we're going to look at what we call the Haber synthesis of ammonia. Now ammonia is an industrial product that we probably you know, produce billions of tons of, maybe not quite billions of tons, but we produce a whole lot of this stuff. And so it's important to get this reaction to take place very quickly. Now we have a little bit of a problem with that. Well, first of all, what makes up ammonia? Ammonia is made up of a single nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. So we need nitrogen and hydrogen. Now, nitrogen is easy to get. The atmosphere is full of it, so that's not a problem. Hydrogen gas is also readily produced. It's not as easy to get because you have to do a, a chemical reaction and produce, and uh, you need heat in order for the reaction to take place. So we take water, we heat it up into a gas form, we mix it with solid carbon, a lot of heat, and we've built, we, we produce carbon dioxide gas and hydrogen gas. So now we have nitrogen and hydrogen gas that we can mix together to form ammonia. And the equation goes, we have one mole of nitrogen gas, three moles of hydrogen gas, produces two moles of ammonia gas. The problem again is this is a very slow reaction. It doesn't take place very quickly. And if we had to just let that go by itself, we'd have a really tough time producing enough ammonia. It's, it's an exothermic reaction. It does produce a lot of heat but that doesn't mean it's going to go fast. Remember, there's not a lot of relationship between how much energy it releases and how fast the reaction occurs because we have to get across that activation energy. And it turns out that hydrogen bonds between two hydrogen atoms and the nitrogen, the bonds between two nitrogen atoms, they're very strong and it's hard to break up those bonds for hydrogen and nitrogen to, re to react with each other. Once they're broken, once you have hydrogen atoms and nitrogen atoms, the reaction goes very quick, but you have gotta break those bonds first. So how do we do that? Well, we produce what we call a catalyst. We take a metal plate made from iron, and we add a few percent of potassium and aluminum oxide mixed in with the iron, and we, we use that as a site over which the reaction take place. What happens is when hydrogen atoms or in nitrogen atoms, well, in the gas format, when the molecules, the hydrogen molecules and nitrogen molecules, better said, when they come within the vicinity of this catalyst, the interaction between the catalyst and the molecules weakens the bonds, makes the bonds more susceptible to breakup, and actually allows the, the molecule bonds to break apart. Once they're break, broken apart, they very quickly react with the nitrogen and the hydrogen atoms, and then offloads the ammonia. So you can see that you can make the reaction go much faster by somehow breaking up the bond so the reaction can then, can then take place very quickly. And that's the purpose of a catalyst. And this is a very famous reaction that we use with a catalyst to get ammonia produced at very high volume very quickly. Without that, we would have a heck of a time producing ammonia in any kind of quantities.